Is it possible to live together peacefully despite of our differences? If there is someone in this hall has suffered from ethnical barriers? Let me tell you a story. My neighbor opened her eyes one day and suddenly she saw flame everywhere. People were running. She was very surprised. She asked, what's happening? Someone told her, hey, don't ask, just run. She said, how could I run? How could I run and I can't even stand up? How could I run and I can't even walk? And I don't have a son to pick me up. She said to herself, if I don't run, they will kill me. She took some corn, put it in a piece of clothes, and then started her journey. In the street, she has nothing to eat except the corn and nothing to drink except the water that she found in the street. Can you imagine a woman crawling from Azum Valley to Zalinja City? Can you imagine how long the distance was? It really hurts me. It hurts me to see someone take a gun and kill millions of people because only one of them has killed his father. It hurts me to see someone burn a village because someone from that village has stolen his cow. It hurts me to see my country divided into black and white, poor and rich. From my own experience, I've noticed that there are some social and ethnical barriers between people. And almost all human conflicts are the result of these barriers. And I do believe if we break these barriers, we will accept every human being because humanity is an enough reason to respect and accept every human being. I've divided these barriers into two categories, ethnical barriers and social barriers. First, ethnical barriers. Ethnicity is a group of people share the same culture, language, religion. But the most important thing is that they think they have the same origin, same grandfather. Ethnicity can be good because it helps to protect the culture, tra traditions, and beliefs. But absolutely, it will be very horrible if it's going to divide the nation or threaten the peace of the country. Our creator created us into different tribes. In order to get benefits from this diversity, we should know how to deal with ethnical barriers. So, what are these ethnical barriers? And how do we break them? Number one, color barrier. I remember there was a conflict last year in my neighborhood. There were two tribes, A tribe and B tribe. A guy from A tribe has killed a guy from B tribe. In the small market there, then B tribe gathered together, took their guns and went to A tribe. They burned the small market there and then A and B tribe start fighting each other. And I will let you imagine how many lives we lost there. But here's the scene. In the evening, my dad and my neighbor were talking about Zaribde, and I was listening to them. My neighbor said, this conflict was like a shock to me. I've never heard 
that those two tribes are fighting each other. And I was asking myself, why he said that those two tribes don't fight each other? And what I realized is that they share the same color of the skin. They look like each other. Look at the conflicts happening right now. Most of them are between people with different colors. How do we break the color barrier? We shouldn't divide ourselves based on the color of our skin. We should judge the person from his inside by his personality. Allah created us with different colors, not to fight each other, but to live together. <clears throat> Number two, language barrier. Have you ever heard that people speaking the same language are fighting each other? Of course not. Why? Because they feel like they are brothers. Languages are mothers. And the people speaking the same language are brothers. So language can be a huge barrier between people. How could they communicate together if they can't understand each other? Does this mean all of us should speak only one language? Or does it mean that we should isolate ourselves and deal only with the people that understand our language? What should we do? The solution is we should live together and try to learn each other's language. I love cities because in the city you find this house is A tribe, the next is B tribe, here is C tribe, there is D tribe. They all live together. They can understand each other and when something happened to only one of them, they gather together, unite with each other and go to help him. There's a Sudanese proverb say, And I'm going to tell you a story, in this story, how we in my neighborhood break the, color, the language barrier. I've raised in a neighborhood where most of the people speak broken Arabic, and my Arabic was just like my environment. And when I went to the basic school, I felt shame of the way I speak. I kept silent all the time. Because I don't want to people laugh at me if they discover that I speak broken Arabic. And I was talking to myself, Dad, why you brought us here? Why you didn't buy a house in a place where all the people speak good Arabic? But now I feel very proud of my neighborhood because we live together, we love each other, although we speak different languages. Number three, the cultural barrier. We all know that different communities have different cultures, languages, customs, and traditions. And it's a good thing, isn't it? But the bad point in when they think we are right, the other is wrong. We are better than the other people. We are masters. There are slaves. It's really bad. How do we break the cultural barriers? We can bring youth together from different communities to share and exchange their community language, customs, and traditions in order to respect and accept each other's norms. Now that I've talked about ethnical barriers, I'm going to turn to the social barriers. Social barriers, I believe, is the hardest to fight. 
Because in the human nature, we love ourselves very much. So, what are these social barriers? Number one, authority, like decision makers. Number two, wealth, like someone who has a billion of dollars. Number three, education, like someone who has a PhD, for example. How do these social barriers affect the communities? The worst thing in when someone think this person is lower than me because he don't have a high educational level like me or he don't have a nice car like me or he lives in a normal neighborhood. My friend told me that she went to her niece's wedding one day to help them. Her work was to deliver sweet and water to the guest. And while she's working, some guests came. She welcomed them. And while she's bringing the sweet and water to them, her aunt saw her. She said, What are you doing? My friend said, what? You don't know that those people are VIP? How could you bring them the normal sweet and normal water? Go there, bring the special sweet, and give it to them. How does this story make you feel? Why we don't love to treat each other equally? Equality, equality, equality is the solution. We should activate the concept of equality for all humans. Let's open our hearts to each other. Let's accept each other. Let's try to live together, to work together, despite of our differences. Let's live peacefully. Let's build our country. Thanks.